Travis Wingdon cell. In my dreams, I had it explained to me why I am, for the most part, unsuccessful in convincing Mormons that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is false. In the dream, uh, there was a, an attractive woman that I wanted to get to know better. <coughs> and uh, she was asking uh, doctrinal questions. And I was explaining those doctrinal questions to her, uh, talking about uh, the temple text and her washing and anointings. And, and she just, she didn't understand, she wasn't understanding she wasn't believing, and uh, to spite me, she was purposely pretending to like uh, one of my bullies, another guy who was the leader of a pack of Mormon bullies uh, who had been attacking me and assaulting me, and I was forced to defend myself against and she was uh, listening to every word he was saying to her giving her his explanation which was all lies uh, and so I just I remember sitting back and going I, I gave you the answer why are you listening to him Because in her mind, even though he was a bully to me, she didn't see that he was a bully to me. And so when I defended myself against him, she saw me defend against him. And so she saw me then as the bully. Even though I took away his seership, symbolically in the dream, she would not listen to me. And I was helpless. So yes, the church members represent the woman. And uh, the bullies represent the leadership of the church. So, none of you have seen what the church has done to me. And so you don't believe it. Even though I tell you, even though it's a horrific tale, you don't believe it. And so you purposely uh, defend the leadership of the church over me, even though I'm the victim. And you consider me as an apostate, antichrist, holding a grudge against the leaders to justify clinging to the church leaders, to their defense. And there's nothing I can do. The more I expose about the church leaders, the more I, I connect the prophecies of the scriptures to show that the church leaders are false. My goodness, what is this? <laughs> the more Mormons embrace the prophets, side with the prophets, even though, during this coronavirus, they're the ones murdering you. They're not in your best interest, but you won't listen to me. Even though I'm saying, hey, I'm trying to save you. Don't listen to the prophets. 
they're trying to murder you. And there's nothing I can do. Mormons refuse. And now that it's too late, I can't save Mormons. <coughs> and this is the time, literally, as it's raining outside, <laughs> that the flood is rising. The uh, people are banging on the door saying, let us in, Noah, let us in. We want in. But in this particular case, they aren't banging on my door saying, hey, Travis, let us in. We need protection from coronavirus. <laughs> They're instead saying, yeah, bleach, 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 chug, chug, chug. <laughs> in the metaphoric sense. So, uh, that's the frustration. That's the sad thing in these latter days. Is I'm trying to save people's lives. And they're just cursing the true God and literally dying with this coronavirus. Watching their loved ones die. Watching their children now die because it's mutated into children. And Jerry Sloan. They will not say how he died. <laughs> I mean, my God. See, notice the popular Mormons get coverage. You know, the one uh, missionary couple, right at the very beginning. Oh, he was a great man, and all oh, we give. And so Jerry Sloan, oh, wow, he's a celebrity. But they won't tell us how he died. He had a heart attack like eight or nine years ago, I saw in YouTube reminding me, but uh, they won't say if it was a heart attack related or if it's coronavirus related. Coronavirus does attack the heart if you're taking the hydroxychloroquine. Did Gary Herbert murder Jerry Sloan? Is that why they're not saying how he died? I mean, how would Mormons feel if they found out that he was murdered and they're using coronavirus not to claim the coronavirus killed him, but to cover it up altogether, not even revealing how he died? How are they going to do a, cor a coroner's report? Are they even doing an investigation as they're supposed to? to make sure that it was a righteous death as they did with my grandmother when she died <coughs> and other you know, that's the typical thing they do is they need to investigate just to make sure there wasn't some underhanded dealings but are they going to do it with Jerry Sloan? Mm -hmm. so Alright, that's, that's that for that. Uh, let's, since I've got you here, I'm only at nine minutes, rather than three hour videos. Let's check the docket, see if Judge Ober, Oberg did actually do something before the holiday weekend. I, I'm suggesting maybe not because Judge First didn't, and that was her fulfillment of the sign in the heavens. So, the sign in the heavens still remains. So, that would be my guess, as she refused to do anything before the holiday weekend. Sure enough, she did not. <coughs> Saturn does not pull away from the mouth to retrograde away astronomical term, <coughs> a 
until around the 28th. So uh, next Thursday, uh, I'm sure if I were to have zoomed in, it may have it may be earlier than that, 27, 26 maybe. That would be uh, when she would come back from the weekend. But next week, Saturn starts to pull away from the mouth of the goat beast. Alright, so hopefully by coming closer to Jupiter, it means that she's going to side with me rather than with the church who is the goat beast. The you know, symbol of the church is the inverted pentagram, which is the goat beast symbol of Luciferians. <coughs> and uh, Venus also is that same symbol and represents the church members. And so we got the understanding now, now that the sign has happened, and the events on Earth have happened, we now know exactly how to interpret yesterday's sign in the heavens. Trump, Mercury, being next to Mormons, Venus, in the Ox, Taurus, constellation, with the new moon, which is aligned with the Sun, in conjunction with the Sun, uh, also in Taurus. That uh, Trump gave his orders yesterday for Mormons and all religious groups, Mormon, or all religious persons, to return to whichever church they belong to. He gave the order. Now, Nelson has already previously said, we're opening up church for Sunday, Travis has <laughs> filed a lawsuit and reminded the judge of his final decision and the lawyers have come to us and said you guys need to prepare to flee so we're opening up the church to kill as many people as we can as a distraction while we flee and blah blah blah. <laughs> and so yeah that, that's now the interpretation. It's official because the events on Earth were what they were and the signs are what they are and now we know that uh, that's the match it's not something we force it's something that happened <coughs> and so sure enough Trump, Mercury and he, they're in the horn section of Taurus even the horn is the messenger chauffeur horn, uh, but all those chauffeur horn is a different animal. Uh, but uh, <coughs> uh, nonetheless, it, the horn always represents symbolically uh, giving a message. And so, sure enough, Mercury gave the message to Mormons go back to church. Sacrifice yourselves. Because Taurus is the, the sacrifice of symbolic of the father losing authority because of death and the son replacing the father. And you have uh, Mercury, which is even the messenger god, uh, and Trump they even call him Trump. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, yeah, he gave the order yesterday in his little uh, shortened speech. No questions taken, nothing. Just says, I am ordering all religions as essential, and I'm ordering them to open for this weekend and drink bleach. Trump says those things that people mock him for, and he just ignores it as if it never happened, hoping people stop reminding him. 
That's how you take them down, guys. I grew up with that kind of childhood peer. <clears throat> I knew exactly how to handle them. <laughs> but apparently nobody else grew up with that kind of a bully, that kind of an abuser. So, uh, that now explains the sign, and I've done my dream, and I've done my video message, and like I said, Mormons are clinging more and more tightly to Russell and Nelson rather than to someone who's literally trying to save their lives. They would rather curse God and die before denying Nelson as a true prophet of God despite knowing he has no fruit. Again, let me remind you, he's a medical doctor. As a medical doctor, when there's a virus, he knows you shut everything down. Because that's how you stop it. You don't stop it by a gradual showing, slowing down as it grows and grows and grows. Because he knows it'll get out of control, and it'll take even longer to go away. Which means the church will be shut down for a longer period of time. He knows this. And yet he still nonetheless did it that way. And now he's opening up early. The virus isn't gone. And he said, oh, we want you to be safe. So we're opening the church because we want you to be safe. He's using those key words he knows Mormons will go, Oh, they want, they're wanting to save me, they protect me for my safety. Okay, I'll go to church to be safe. <laughs> Don't think. <laughs> That's why yesterday's video I put in the Mars Attacks segment. Don't run. We're your friends. <laughs> That's how dumb people are under this coronavirus. The Trump says, oh, we're going to save the economy. We're going to bring back the economy. And we're going to, you know, there's nothing wrong with the virus. Everything's fine. <laughs> and Nelson, oh, yeah, we want you to be safe. So we're opening up so that you can go back and infect other people and get infected yourself if you haven't. They just, they're just playing you for dumb. And you side with them rather than me because of how I was informed in my dream. <laughs> it just, it's a no-win situation. And it's sad that you guys are going to die because you choose to follow the Blaffer.